What's going on guys, Attica from the Attica World and we're here to bring you some more Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS news. We have something interesting today in the field of Amiibo and this time it's not somebody hacking Amiibo that haven't even come out yet but it involves current existing Amiibo that once again, more deformities. Um, the list is endless now. We've seen so many of these things, I think the value is actually starting to drop. Um, the first initial one was the two gun Samus, then we had the uh, Marth with the two swords. There's a lot in the middle of that whole thing, but at one point there was also a no legged Peach. Well, the newest amiibo malfunction deformity involves Peach once more. And this one is slightly more disturbing than Peach having no legs. This one says a photo of Pe a three armed Peach amiibo has a surface, and this one. I feel is really disturbing because you know the thing is is that the arm is placed right where her arm is you know like the fact that she has her arm in a regular place and then there's like literally an arm right underneath it very disturbing and it makes you wonder you know does Nintendo do any kind of factory checks on these things is there any kind of inspector who looks to make sure that everything's in place because it seems like there is and if stuff like this can just be chugged out of the amiibo factory with no problem they're gonna make people rich at this point you know, I mean, hell, send, someone send me a fucking deformed amiibo so I can certain, sell this shit online for bundles of bread. But um, let's take a look at some more details of this thing because um, shit's getting crazy right now. All right, so not entirely sure if this is legit or not, but it sure is scary. Yes, that's Princess Peach with a third arm. We've seen many weird and wonderful amiibos, but if this one is legitimate, then the owner is sure to make some serious cash thanks to Ma Master Pikachu um, 6. Master Pikachu or Master Pichu? Master Pikachu 6. Yeah, so um, looking at this amiibo, right? The thing that I feel makes this amiibo slightly more valuable than the other ones is that it actually has something extra. So there's more material involved in the deformity rather than something that's missing, which is like the legs of Peach or something. So I mean, the ones that add more on, like maybe Samus's gun and whatnot, well, that one was more equal, you know? Like, there wasn't more material involved in the amiibo in the, mal in the um, deformity. But this one, I feel, is worth a lot because it looks... I don't want to say it looks good. It doesn't look good, but it, she looks like a fucking alien. Like, I, that's, that's where I'm coming from with this whole thing. Like, it doesn't look good, it doesn't look correct, but it fits. Like, it looks like she's kind of some form of, like, alien creature or something. She just has a fucking arm coming out of her under her armpit it looks like it's coming out of her armpit slightly or maybe her upper arm like maybe under her bicep it looks like it's just jutting right out of there and I feel like this is going to make this thing probably the most valuable amiibo to date because it has the entirety of the amiibo with something extra added on an extra limb an extra appendage and that my friends is gonna make this a very high selling amiibo trust me the no-legged peach sold for like what two twenty three thousand dollars that's a nice chunk of change, man. That's a down payment on a house right there in some states. Definitely not New York, but it's a down payment on a house in other places. So, um, unless you want to live in, like, the fucking Brownsville or something. But, I mean, that's a down payment on a house in other places. <laughs> but, still, this one I feel is going to sell for a lot more. If they sell it in the first place, which obviously they will, because, you know, who really needs a three-handed peach around, you know, unless you're a collector, an avid collector. So, I mean, I'm definitely going to be keeping my eyes on this to see how much this one pulls in. Man, every time I go to GameStop, whenever I go to meet my girlfriend, I make sure to check out every single shelf and make sure that I am not missing out on some kind of amiibo deformity, so that way I can pull myself in some bread too. But um, yeah, congratulations to the person that got this, Stealth. Um, you know what, you got yourself a gold mine right there, man. All we gotta do is wait, put that shit on eBay, and we'll see what happens. But um, what do you guys think of this um, 3 arm Peach? Do you think at some point the amiibo defects are going to drop in value because there's so many of them? Sure, each defect is unique to itself, but what happens when the market is so saturated with these defects that it doesn't even become something rare anymore? The only reason why I think the early amiibo defects sold so well is because they were the first, but Nintendo seems to be on a fucking mission when it comes to fucking up. So if Nintendo is making it their goal and aim to keep fucking up with these amiibos, then what the hell's gonna happen down the line? You know, when you know the market's flooded with these things, I mean, what are we gonna have a dickless link like next? You know, like, I don't fucking know. It's just a speculation because Link doesn't really have his dick out in his amiibo. You know, but I'm, I'm just saying. You know, you know, funny purposes. I'm supposed to be an entertainer. It's what I do. I'm supposed to make you laugh. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.